Welcome, my name is Philip King. Before we begin, I would like to ask a favor from you. If you like our videos, then please click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to show your support. Okay, let us begin. In this video, I will give you a brief overview of Visual Studio Code, what it is, and how you can download and install it on your computer. I will also show you, how you can create a PHP program using Visual Studio Code, and test it on an Apache server. You can find the links to download Visual Studio Code, and related applications below the video. Visual Studio Code is an open source and free source code editor developed by Microsoft for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It is defined as a source code editor, and not an integrated development environment, or IDE. The confusion may arise because it is part of the Visual Studio IDE family. Having said that, Visual Studio Code will give you features such as syntax highlighting, bracket matching, IntelliSense, debugging and much more. It comes with built-in support for JavaScript, TypeScript, and Node.js. It has a rich ecosystem of extensions for other languages such as C++, C Sharp, Java, Python, PHP, and Go. If that is not enough, you can also install any of the many extensions to enable additional languages, themes, debuggers, and extended commands. In short, it is a great tool for developers. To download Visual Studio Code, go to the visualstudio.com website. I've put the link below the video. If your operating system is not selected by default, just click the down arrow and make your selection. Click the download button when you are ready. I'm just going to save the download to my desktop. You can of course save the file where you wish. Whilst you are waiting for the download to complete. Why not look around the visualstudio.com website. There is lots of tips, and even some nice video tutorials available. When your download is complete, open the file downloaded. If you get a security warning, just click the run button. This will open the welcome to the Visual Studio Code Setup Wizard. Read what it has to say. Click the next button when you are ready. The license agreement opens next. Read what it has to say and accept the agreement if you are happy with it. Click the next button when you are ready. Now you can dictate where Visual Studio Code will be installed. Enter a location in the box provided. I think the defaults are perfectly fine, so I'm just going to accept them. Now select the start menu folder you require. I'm just going to accept the default again. Click the next button when you are ready. I suggest you read the additional task pop-up carefully. You may like to change a few of these items. Personally, I do not want a desktop icon, but I do want the next three items. So I will have the Visual Studio Code menu items added to Windows Explorer. I will also register Visual Studio Code as the default editor for supported files. If you change your mind, you can always select or deselect these options at a later date. That's it. You are finally ready to install Visual Studio Code. Click the install button when you are ready. The installation is now complete. Ensure the launch Visual Studio Code checkbox is selected, then click the finished button to launch the application. With the application open, look in the bottom right hand corner. You will see a request by Microsoft to collect usage data. I'll leave you to decide how you want to proceed here. Close the request when you are ready. To begin developing using Visual Studio Code, I recommend you create a local development environment using either WAMP or XAMP. The links for both are below the video. If you need help installing either of these, you will find tutorials on my channel. For this demonstration I will be using XAMP, though to be honest I prefer WAMP when working with WordPress. Why this preference? I find WAMP just that little simpler and smoother to work with but that's just me. 
Try both, see which one you like. I strongly advise you not to use a live site, installing a local development environment does not take that long to set up. Whichever development environment you choose, the first thing to do is create a folder for your code. As I will be demonstrating PHP, I'll create a MyPHP folder in the XAMP htdocs folder. This will hold all my PHP development files. OK, let us create our first PHP program. Run Visual Studio Code. Now open our folder, MyPHP, the one we created earlier. You should now see the folder as an explorer sidebar menu item. As this is our first PHP file, we'll create the usual, hello world program. So, click on the new file icon and enter the file name, hello world.php. Press enter to create the file. You should now see our hello world file, in the main editor window. It's empty at the moment, so let's add some code. Start by typing HTML in the editor window. Then select the snippet from the auto suggestion drop down to get the HTML boilerplate. Just press the tab key to make your selection. If you look on line 6, you will see a dummy title has been entered for you. Change this title to Hello World. Now move down to the body section and start entering our hello world PHP code. This simply consists of an echo statement surrounded by the usual PHP tags. When you are ready, save the file. To run the Hello World program, open your browser. Enter, http, localhost myphp hello world.php into the address bar. This is the root path to our Hello World program. To run the program, just press enter. When the program runs, the Hello World title tag will show in the browser tab. The Hello World text will be shown in the browser body. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, then please click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to show your support. You should also check out the King Solutions website, the links are below the video. See you soon, and thanks again for taking the time to view this video.